Hi, today we're gonna to show you how to use the Streets Online Ordering System, or SUSE. Okay, so first we need to get the app. So open up your browser and go to www.streetsimaging.com.au and click Order Online. Choose the version that suits your operating system. And if you're unsure about that, click the bottom one. Just note, this is a Java-based app, but if you don't have Java installed, you can grab it for free through this link here. So click on the version that suits you, follow all the prompts, agree to all the warnings and run the software. If they give you the option not to show these warnings again, tick that option. You can run the SUSE offline, but for the latest catalogue and specials, it's best to connect to the internet. You'll have to connect to the internet every couple of weeks anyway. If you have any problems, please refer to the troubleshooting section of the website. And if you can't find a solution there, then give us a call at the lab on 3255-1130. Okay, let's take a quick tour. Each time you open the SUSE, you'll be greeted by this screen. This is a start screen. And by the way, this is an overview of the ordering process. Order prints shopping cart, then send or upload your order. So, back to the start screen. Keep an eye out for specials and promos advertised here, which you can order from this link here. All these links are shortcuts to the products. Now if you click on one of these links, it'll take you directly to that tab. For example, metallic paper. Here are the sizes for metallic paper. Or photos on canvas. Here are the canvas sizes. Please note acrylic face mounts and aluminium are ordered by clicking on this drop-down tab. So as an example, say we want to order a standard luster photo print as an 8x12. You'll find the standard luster paper split into three tab sizes. Photos up to 12 inch wide, photos on 20 inch or 30 inch wide, and photos on 44 inch wide. So for an 8x12 print, we click photos up to 12 inch wide paper, and scroll down and select 8x12. You'll see the centre of the screen changes to our selected product. Next we're going to find the images that we want to order. To do this we can either click on add images and this will add an entire folder of images. Or if we have our folder open already we can simply drag a folder in or select the image that we want and drag that in. So we haven't actually ordered these yet. At the moment we're simply viewing them in SUSE. We can have multiple folders down here. We can minimise them by clicking here or close them by clicking here. To order, drag your image from here into the centre template. Here we have some helpful time-saving tools. By clicking on the image, it brings up this toolbar. We can rotate, zoom in, reposition, and crop the image. The beauty of this software is what you see here is what will print. Now if I want 10 copies of this image, I can change the quantity here. This is the options panel. For example, I want these ready to hang. So I select from one of these options here. And I'm going to select 20mm foam core. By the way, you can find examples of all of these products on our website. Some products have options necessary for ordering, so always check this panel out. And when I'm happy with my image, I click Add to Cart. Here's another really neat time-saving trick. I have another four images I want to print with exactly the same options. So I select all my four images, and drag them into the 8x12 template. Follow the prompts and these are automatically added to my cart. Now I'm ready to move on, so I click Shopping Cart. Here I can review my order. I have thumbnails here, any product options here, and the quantity here. I can go back and edit the product by clicking this button, or remove them by clicking this button. You have various order options. Type any special order notes here colour correction if required, rush order if you need your work in less than the standard turnaround times, and an address if you'd like us to send it directly to your client. If you have a promo code, enter that in down here. Well I'm happy with this, so I'm going to hit check out. I've used this software before, so my details are already filled in, so I just hit next. Now I can't pick up at the lab or use a courier as I live in a different city to streets, so I'm going to select Australia Post. Again my credit card details are all filled out, as I've used this before, but I do need to put my CCV in again. And just note, this is the reason they're filled in, because I've checked this tick box. Finally, I'm going to click Send Now via the internet. The SUSE will process my payment via eWay's Secure Payment Gateway and start uploading my order. It's important you leave SUSE open while this happens, so hit Go to Uploads, and if you have a big order, feel free to walk away and make yourself a cup of coffee. One last final note. If everything has gone to plan, you will receive an email from eWay after your payment is processed, and a second email after your order has been successfully received by us, with an invoice detailing your order. Once you have those two, sit back and wait for your prints to arrive.